Today is the 12th of June and I was having a conversation with my roommate and well this morning I'm just gonna be ranting okay about everything and just where I'm at with everything and what's happening and I'm gonna shut this off so that I can't see myself okay literally I don't know what I'm doing with my life I don't know what like I don't know what I want to do I I feel like there are so many different things I could focus on and yet none of them really seem that appealing to me like I need to see myself actually like I I want okay <laughs> this is how messy my brain is I don't know if I want to keep doing my main channel I don't know if I want to keep doing Riley Real vlogs day in the life that type of thing literally I never thought I would be in this phase of my life I never <laughs> I never thought I would be unmarried like no boyfriend no few like spouse nothing like just completely like directionless feeling like I never thought that I wouldn't know where I'm going or like what's gonna happen <laughs> which is ridiculous saying that out loud but it's so true I didn't think that I would ever be here so I never planned for it like what does this look like what does my life look like in this phase how can I like how can I what do I make content about when what I do every day is sit on the couch and try to like work on my projects and lay on my bed and read a book and make food a couple times a day and work out if I can if I you know practice my body combat training like it feels like it's not worth it to share like it feels like my life or I've always felt like I need to have an exciting life to share it and my life is anything but exciting right now literally it's it's been yeah anything but exciting like I'm doing better than I was at the beginning of the summer but it's still like I got nothing to share I got nothing to show that it would be feels like it would be of any value to anyone which makes me like not want to make anything but then it makes me feel bad because even though I haven't been posting videos even though I haven't been filming like too much like I've been filming some things but like even though I haven't been doing YouTube really it hasn't I like it's like it literally has not been a break because the whole time I just feel terrible about myself this whole time I've been like angry at myself and disappointed in myself because I should be doing this I should be making videos I should be making content but it doesn't feel like it it matters it doesn't feel like it means anything so like why would I do it if it just all feels like it's worthless and like nobody cares and nobody wants to see it anyway and I don't even want to make it so like I don't even like what I'm making so why would anybody else want to see it and I it just has felt so void and so pointless and I feel like my life right now kind of feels that that way like what am I working for like who is this for like what am I doing you know I thought I would be married I thought I could like I thought that would give me so much like I know that's gonna give me so much meaning and I keep thinking that like if only I was married right now I'd have so many videos that I'd want to make if only I was gonna have kids soon like I would you know be inspired by all these phases of life but I'm instead I'm in this phase of life that sucks that literally I just feel like nothing's happening and I'm going nowhere and why would anybody want to see that why would anybody why would anybody want to like watch me like not know what I'm doing and pointless and feel like 
directionless, you know? Like, Because even though I feel pointless, like everything's pointless and I'm directionless, I still have so many ideas. It feels like everyone, even though this is not true, like it feels like everybody is working for something. You know, they're, they're inspired and they're excited. And I know that's not true. Like there's so many people who are feeling what I'm feeling right now, but what I see is not that. I see people who are excited and who are doing well and who are making their content and it's beautiful and it's loved and well received and people like are excited about it and interact with it and I just like, I don't know how to get there. I don't know how to like make something that means something to me and means something to other people. And and have it do well and like I and have me be feel fulfilled by it like what what is this <laughs> what is happening <laughs> and I'm so stressed about money which hopefully this job will fix that and hopefully like Another thing I could do is not put pressure on myself. So it'd be like, you know, Riley Real, my main channel, I just post to whenever I want. But then if I say that, then I never will. And then, like, because I feel like I'm the kind of person that has to be like, I have this commitment and I'm going to follow through on it. So boom, 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 boom. You know, like, I'm going to follow this commitment. If I say every week, I'm going to get it done every single week. And if I don't put that constraint on myself, then I just, like, it's just gonna go to the bottom of the list. And, and then I'll just still have all of this built-up, like, resentment towards myself for not following through on something that I said I would, you know? Like, for not posting, like, I said I'm a, I'd do it whenever, but, like, I don't do it whenever. And I also hate, in the past, I've hated, like, watching someone's videos that I love and then they just stop posting and then anytime they come back they suck like their content sucks and nobody like wants to watch it or maybe it doesn't suck people just don't care anymore and so like what's the even point of them posting if like nobody cares and like they and I don't know what I want to talk about like, do I even, do I want to talk about post-grad? Is that what this content is going to be about? Like, is that going to be of some meaning to people? Like, should I do post-grad wellness, health, and fitness? It just feels so meaningless. Everything just feels that way, like... I long for the days when, like, back in the day when I felt so excited about what I was making and so excited about what I was doing, and that just is in no, like, someone that I know just <laughs> passed me, <laughs> sobbing in the car. Like, everything that I'm doing that I used to do felt so right to me. Everything that I was making, like, I was excited about it, and now those things don't feel that way anymore. Those things that I used to do don't feel right anymore. But, like, new things don't necessarily feel right either, so it just feels wrong. But I don't know if that's just me having some resistance to whatever stage this is that I'm in. Like, is it just, is it not the actual content, but it's actually just the phase that I am, that I'm in right now, you know? Like, what, what is it? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I'm doing. What is happening? Oh, and we don't even need lit, oh my gosh. I'm about, 
Okay, looks like we're gonna get into so much. Okay, we didn't even talk about, like, relationship-wise where I'm at. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I am incredible. Like, I am going to be an amazing wife. And I know that about myself. And I've wanted to be a mother and a wife since I was young. Like, that's just... That's something that I am excited for. However, something that I am not good at is boys and commitment. I just feel like a fool and I feel like I'm never going to be able to love anyone. Like, I've never been in love. And I don't feel like I will ever be able to. Am I even capable of that? I think so. I think when I am in love with somebody, it's going to be fantastic. Like, I I am a romantic person through and through. Like, I, I think I will be a great girlfriend. Okay? But I've never been one before. And I never have felt like... I can give that title to someone or give that let allow myself to take on that title because I don't think I like anybody enough for that but then it's like is there anybody will there ever be anybody that I feel that way towards or that I feel is good enough for me and who in the hell am I to think that I am like this amazing person like I got issues man literally then it, then it's like the flip side. Then it's like, who's ever gonna love me? Is any guy that is so good ever gonna love? Like, I can't like pick how I feel. Oh my gosh. Literally, what am I gonna do with my life? I, I just, I just feel like I need to get married. That's like, I need to do that, and so much purpose is gonna come from that. But I'm not anywhere near that. So like how would how can I get there if I'm not even close? And spiritually, I feel like I've taken some great leaps and like I've gotten through some like tough things that have been like kind of hanging over me for a lot of my life and I I feel like I've kind of pushed past those and and gotten to a place like, further along in my spiritual journey, you know? But at the same time, I fail at the daily things. And, like, I don't feel super excited about church. Like, I go because it's something that I know is good and something that I know, like, is... Like, I require that of myself. Because the least I can do for my Savior is, like, go to church. And the least I can do for myself is, like, partake of the sacrament and, like take advantage of, not take advantage, but like, use the tools that are given to me to become better, a better person, and to try again, and try to be better, you know, like, I'm not taking that away from myself, even though it, like, sometimes just feels, stu like, why am I here, I would rather be at home, like, I'm not feeling all too strongly about anything that anybody is saying, like, I just feel kind of broken. Like, I feel like a broken person. Like, not on the daily do I feel like, oh, I'm just broken. Like, I can't, no. But, like, when I... I'm like, can I, I can't do work. I can't do, like, spirituality right. I can't do, um, re like, relationships. I'm just messed up. And will I ever feel not this way? Will I ever not feel this way? Will I ever feel good and happy and whole and, like, fulfilled in the different areas of my life? That's I just want to be happy and fulfilled. And I know happy, like, I shouldn't chase happy because happy is a fleeting emotion. Like, that's not what you should chase. But I want to I wanna be fulfilled and... It's so hard for me in this stage of my life to feel that way. And um, especially because I don't know what I need to do in order to feel that way. Like, how can I feel fulfilled in this phase of my life? 
if all the things that I've like always been told and I've always believed that will be the most fulfilling things are something that feels like it's something that feels so far away right now and I know like I just have to keep working towards it I have to keep working on myself that so that when the time comes like I can be the best I can be in that phase and in that role but it just without that goal in sight and without that without feeling that that is something close it just feels it all just feels pointless so that's what I'm feeling those are my emotions and my thoughts about what I'm doing and not and literally I don't know and I don't know how to know. I don't know what to do in order to feel good about my direction. Thankfully, I always feel like I'm on the edge of something good. Like, when I feel like this, I'm like, I might be feeling this way now, but right over there, right over there is the answer. Right over there is my purpose and right like it's just right there that everything's gonna fall into place so despite this turmoil inside of me like I'm glad that I always like that at my core I'm an op optimistic person I'm glad that I'm oh my gosh stroke I'm glad that at my core I'm an optimistic person and that even though I feel this turmoil inside of me, like, it's over there that it's gonna be okay. Like, just get there. But I, my get there and like, there, like, what is that? What is it that I, is that like finding someone to love? Is that moving houses? Which is oftentimes what it is for me. Like, Oh, my life is just going to change so much and I'm going to be such a better person when I move to my next place. <laughs> when I like, when I go move in the house on the hill, when I get out of this little small house, like when I get into more space and more beautiful landscapes and like, I am just going to be the person I'm going to reflect this place and I'm going to be that amazing. <sighs> I don't know guys. I need some food, so I'm going inside. Thank you, Alyssa, for telling me to come out here and just rant because I I was scared. And that's something. It's like when you haven't talked to a really good friend of yours in a long time and you feel like they're going to be disappointed in you and, like, upset with you. That's how I feel, though. Talking to my camera and talking to my subscribers when I've been gone for a long time. Cause you guys are my friend you're my friends and like I feel guilty about not talking to you and not being in communication with you for a while and there's this like dissonance because I've lived so much life since you have last talked to me or last since I've last interacted with you so it's like all these things have happened and you don't know about them and because I haven't like told you about it and I haven't like expressed that to you so it's like how would you know but then there's like this weird like you don't know me kind of thing even though you know so much of like who I am because of all that I've shared but it's still like you don't know me because we haven't talked in a minute you know you don't know what I'm struggling with right now you don't know what I'm going through right now so how can we be very close if that isn't there but that's my fault which makes me feel bad which makes me feel guilty which makes you not oh it's a mess it's a mess my life is a mess welcome to it <laughs> welcome to my mess of my life as Riley Suzanne real they say it gets better. I hope so. Peace out, folks.